Hi there. Welcome to this last video on test driven development. In this video, let's revise whatever we have done over the last two videos and also uh, I'll give you a few words of caution. So as we realized, the test driven development is three steps, red, green, refactor, write a failing test, make it pass and then make sure that the code is understandable and it follows your principles of design. So that's the refactor step. Um, three laws is uh, like during our session each of our steps might have taken a little longer than this uh, it's because i have to explain it and then do it so that takes a little longer than uh, the time that i usually allow myself probably around two minutes is what should be sufficient for you to do the entire cycle mostly i mean i'm not saying it's all the time but mostly that should be sufficient that's something which you need something which you need to concentrate on uh, the most important thing about testing and development is to practice whatever we have looked at are a couple of examples which are very simple uh, but if uh, you really want uh, to learn testing and development take start with a few simple examples probably the same examples which we have done over the last two classes probably you can take them and start with them and then go ahead and do a few katas. There are good katas available on the net. For example, the bowling kata. The link to that you'd found, find in the description of this video. Uh, you can try the bowling kata or the tennis problem or uh, try doing any of these katas and I'll put a list of katas you can try uh, below in the description of this video. Uh, take a look at them, try them and see if uh, you are able to solve them. If you are not, then probably look at the solutions and see where you are going wrong. So, uh, the most important thing with testing and development, as with everything else, is practice. I think um, you have to practice a lot with testing and development to be good at testing and development. And uh, the most important thing, as we realized, I mean, as I said earlier, is to have patience. Have a lot of patience and give it some time before you take a call on testing and development. I found it fun to do test driven development and I hope that you also would find it interesting. So there you go. Uh, have fun. Until next time. Bye. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.